the most anticipated card of the year. I think one of the best cards that we've ever seen the UFC put on. I wore my Louis Vuitton for it. We're talking UFC 300, and we got our special correspondent, Paulo Costa, is going to help us break down these fights. So let's get right into it. Let's go. Boom. Well, I'll tell you what, we've got a big announcement to make. Uh, Paulo Costa has become our official correspondent. Uh, we had him on, on an episode a while back, and uh, we've had a lot of fighters on. But Paulo, I'm telling you, has probably been one of the most fun and just cool guys to be around. I, I, we, I don't think I've had a, I've only had a bad experience with one fighter. He's got uh, a man crush on you, bro. He yeah, likes you a lot. But, so uh, but honestly, I mean, <laughs> we, as you get to know these guys, they're just, I mean, they're so cool. And Paulo, just one of the coolest guys that we've met. Paulo, uh, we're so glad to have you on the show. Uh, what made you decide to come be our correspondent? What's up, guys? He's, uh, he's a great uh, honor to to me to be here with you guys, Renzi and Kyle on Coach and Casual Podcast. Yeah. You know, I'm pretty sure this is going to be one of the biggest podcasts about MMA and sports, you know. So thank you guys for having me here. Let's go. Yeah, it's That's an honor, my fun. friend. I'll tell you. Was it, uh, I've been meaning to ask you since. Uh, I know when you first meet me, it can be a little intimidating, but have you had a little time uh, now and you, you've like learned how you, you'll beat me or, or not, not quite yet? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. I'm a, I'm a cool guy. You know, I just fight people in the cage and sometimes at the bed. Yeah. <laughs> but <Hell> yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys are very cool. You, you know, you guys have seen me very well. So I had no problem with you guys. You shared moment. your secret juice, and now I juice. am jacked. Like, yeah. look, my beard grew back. I was shaved. My hair is growing, dude. Yeah. I'm excited. That, that, that's the thing is that uh, this this every segment that Paul is a part of is always going to be sponsored by Secret Juice. There's big things happening with Secret Juice. Paul always has it on hand. Secret Juice. Uh, right. it, it's a it's it's a beautiful thing. Have you been sharing your secret juice with anybody at the Performance Institute, Paulo, or not yet? Of course not. The guys need to fight to have this. This is not so easy, you know. This is a gift. A God gifts. Yeah. God gifts so I cannot hit this so easy like that. I what fought, about Murad? I fought very hard to have this, and so yeah. Uh, you gonna Merab, share it with Murad? Motherfucker is yeah. stealing my my food on FCPI. <laughs> I'm California right now. So he supposed to be eating all my food right now. At <laughs> but I'll be back in Las Vegas next week, so right, right, right. Uh, to FC 200. I, I I want to come back next week, and then we can uh, steal his food back. It's, you know? it's beautiful. We've we've been watching. Have you been in? Uh, have you been doing some uh, some physical therapy at the PI? Are you, are you working on getting something stronger? Or what, what's going on with you? Yeah, since my fight against Whitaker, um, I I kick a lot. Uh, I I got a lot of kicks on my calf. He kicked me a lot, actually, and um, I I I did some kicks as well. But uh, my legs was a little bit sore, you know, a, a little bit swelling. So I was working on that and working on some muscles uh, on my leg that I I supposed to. Be stronger on that one so i was doing but not not big issues you know just some details to be ready for next fight for, for be ready uh quickly because i want to come back to cage you know as soon as possible like uh before the the half year so well do you I'm have just... any breaking news you want to share with us yeah what tell us about your next oh, what's your next fight oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah yeah this is a great great stuff i bring uh, right here in the first, uh, first, uh, you know, I, I never say, say this before. Breaking UFC news, didn't, breaking news, um, baby. Announced that yet, but it's something very, very funny and cool because since my fight against Whitaker was, I, I start to talk, uh, me, Tamara, and Tick, uh, the managers about my next fight, right? And uh, UFC suggests 
uh, fight Canonier. What's uh, is a is a nice fight. I, I love the idea to fight Canonier, and it should suggest that fight for June um, International Fight Week in Las Vegas, late June, I think, uh, June twenty nine. And uh, yes, uh, I accept. I think Canonier was cool with this fight as well. But then two days ago, UFC come back and say, Paulo, you want to fight? Uh, you fight Strickland on June oh, 4th. Oh, so let's go! Let's go! Great fight. It's a fun fight, you know, even funnier than Canonia, I think. I thought. Yeah, way funnier. Yeah. I think the Twitter war in itself would be worth yeah. it. <laughs> and imagine the press yeah. conference. <laughs> oh, the press conference will be. It will be would be so, so he, savage. Yeah. So they they is, offered you Strickland. Yes. He accept, he, he, he accepted the fight or what? So yeah, but unfortunately, I, I don't know what happened. Strickland say no, he, he don't no. want to fight me. Oh, oh yeah, Strickland, Strickland refused. He, Strickland refused to fight me. Unfortunately, uh. Uh, th that's what the FC told me. You know, uh, you know, I I just have this this information from UFC. I think this fight would be great. You know, uh, I would love to fight him. And you, you know, it's funny. I was in UFC PI and I met him. And I was talking with him. He said, Sam, Sean, let's go uh, shot, shoot, shooting yeah. in the desert, you know, because yeah. he likes guns. <laughs> yeah. I like yeah, guns. Yeah. So <laughs> let's do that. And, and he said, Hey, we're supposed to fight. You are asking me to go to the desert, shoot you with you, but you can go. <laughs> and then UFC just suggests that fight, and he refused. Oh, bro. This uh, was great hey, for me, you know. If because... you want to shoot, don't go to the desert with a potential enemy. Yeah. We'll take you to the <laughs> we'll desert and shoot. shoot. You can go shoot guns with yeah. us. Don't okay? go shooting with Sean because yeah. you might not yeah. come back. <laughs> yeah, we, we have guns. You can go with us, okay? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You, I think so, so it be safer with you guys, right? Yeah, way safer. What, what do you think, though? You think, you think he's scared of, of secret juice? Yes, bro. You know, he, he told me he was supposed to fight. He told me that. He said, I, I have a video. He sent me a video about that. Yeah. Hey, Paulo, we're supposed to fight. And I agree with him. We're supposed to fight. But, bro, what, what's going on? You know, he just <laughs> refused. So, you know, uh, he changed his mind. I don't know why. Maybe about the secret juice. He, yeah. you know what the <laughs> it's it's scary. Oh, secret juice is scary. I'm telling you. The thing is, maybe maybe he wants to only fight Americans because South African whipped his ass, and now he doesn't want Brazilian <laughs> to do the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, I think I think it's about that. But, Shen, you can fight for America. I can represent America. You know, you and yeah, yeah. the freedom, the free the, the, the free speech. You can. Let's do this for free, though. You know. Yeah. We Hell yeah, free. America, baby. Love it. America well, okay. first. <laughs> well, yeah. we'll see. We'll see then who you maybe the next one is Cannoneer or somebody. Uh, but it's very interesting that uh, the former champion is is ducking fights with uh, with the most handsome man in the UFC. Yeah, I I will not lie. I I was a kind of you know frustrated about that. Like, uh, oh, he say he would fight everyone, you know, anywhere, free, anytime, any place. But, and uh, but now no UFC problem. just offer a couple of money for for both of us, you know, to fight each other in the cage for everybody, and he refused. Ah, well, that's I because, the, the, and that's a great number one contender fight. Like whoever wins that fight is next for the championship. But the problem you remember, Paulo, the last time he fought a Brazilian, he went to sleep. He fought Pajera. Ah. <laughs> oh, which brings yeah, us. Alex, let's get right? into it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to get right into the main event, UFC 300. Who do you oh, have yeah. winning that fight? What is your thoughts on UFC 300? Woo! Alex Pajero. Yes. I am have a, a, some briefing right here. Alex, Alex Pereira is like 9-2 MMA, right? 36 years old. Uh, he's fighting for, for his second belt, right? He got yeah. uh, against Israel Defense, Adesanya. Yeah. Then he lost and moved up. Bro, you know... He's trying he's to not... avenge his master Glover, you know, because... Jamal yes. Hill beat up Glover. Yes, yes, he trained with Glover, yeah, in Connecticut, United States. You know, uh, I just his think last those... fight was against Perjaska, Jay Perjaska, right? Yeah, he yeah. knocked out him out. He won against Jan Blakovic by yeah. um, split decision. 
You lost for Adesanya. Adesanya. Okay, you can you, you can you you can tell the you can tell the truth though, Paulo. Nobody will be mad at you. Nobody nobody will think less. But it would be too scary to fight Pajera, huh? He's too scary. Bro, yes, I I, I mean <laughs> you know he's a scary scary fighter. You know he's has powerful hands. He knows how to hurt the, somebody. You know with the calf kicks, the kicks, the the, the hands. He's a pretty uh, great fighter. He's a finisher, right? right. But yeah. Jamal Hill is not a joke. That's, you know, that's why the, some people have been asking about that fight before. And I will tell the same for you guys. Nobody fucking knows. Yeah, exactly. Nobody yeah. fucking Ram, Ram, knows, you know. Ramsey says Jamal Hill. For me, I say Alex Pajeta. For me, I you know, when uh, UFC was here in Salt Lake City the second time, not the time you were here, the, the, the second time, uh, Pajeta was here at Ramsey's gym, and I showed him a couple moves, and <laughs> and uh, so he's dangerous, you know? <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing is I really like Alex, and Glover and I are, you know, trained together. We're both pit black belts. But, man, Jamal Hill's just young and mean. He's got a nasty chin. I don't think he gets knocked out, and he just is going to come forward unless you sit there on Alex and let him hit you, right? I mean, who do you have winning that fight? 100%. Look, Jamal Hill, even, even Alex, the both guys are different, are specials. You know, you, don't, you, you cannot find two guys like them every day. It's completely different kind of fighters. I, I, I would say Jamal is younger, fresher than him, you know, because Alex had a lot of fights on kickboxing what's good for one yeah. one side but bad for others because you you know the too much wars char, charge you, you uh, the price on your body you know you yeah you only have so many wars while jamal hill's only ever done mma yes uh, exactly think, yeah. uh, jamal uh, hill is 12 1 right yeah he just so it lost sounds, once it sounds like you're picking jamal hill paulo let me tell. Yes, I, I will. I will just finish, and you guys want to understand what what I I want to hit, or each point, which point I want to hit. Uh, Jam, to me, Jamal Hill has uh, a little bit leverage against Alex, but you, something that that people uh, are talk about in Brazil, especially, is about the Jamal Hill injury. He ha he had some serious injury. He was. Long time out of competition, sure. yeah. And uh, UFC supposed to put to to put him to fight in May, uh, May UFC Brazil. I think it's May May five May five. So he say I will be not ready to May five, but now he's fighting next week in April. So we ne we don't know, and you know I would say Jamal Hill is hundred percent to fight Alex for five rounds for tire. You understand, but I don't. I, I'm not sure he he's gonna be 100% condition. You know, on his best, mm, best yeah. conditions uh, after this injury. I I just saw him in FCPI once, like uh, two weeks ago. He was looking good, but you know, I will be fat. So I don't know if he could make a training camp on the best conditions. To fight a guy so dangerous like Alex, so yeah, on these conditions, okay. I would get pick uh, Alex. But yeah. in normal conditions, I would pick uh, Jamal. I'm telling you. Plus, that's your countryman. I don't know how they say it uh, in uh, in Portuguese, but uh, in in Spanish they say La Raza. It's the race. <laughs> he's, he's your countryman. No he, way. He's American, bro. He chose Jamal Hill as American. No, I, do, I I'm not. I'm not Mexican. I don't know how he's Spanish. No, but, <laughs> but Alex is Brazilian. Yeah. You're Brazilian. It's the family. Yeah. Okay. okay beautiful. Yeah. All right. Next yeah, yeah. one, though. For, 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 as as Brazil is good, you know. But now I moved to America, so America first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby. That's a yeah. We're American first here beautiful. too. Okay. What, next you know, fight. once you come American, you just kind of you're like, this is it, bro. Yeah. I am. There's nowhere else to be. Beautiful. Okay. Next one. Justin Gaethje, Max Holloway. I mean, this is for the BMF belt. Max is moving up, which is kind of like, I don't know, it makes me a little bit nervous for Max. And Gaethje's nasty. What, what are some notes the correspondence brought? 
Bro, I love both, you know. I, I, I just think uh, Max, Max Holloway can, uh, like, uh, he's more technical, you know. He can hit uh, more clear. But on the other side, just Gage is just a beast. This guy yeah, yeah. can really hurt you. I, I think he's kind of, they, they just look like the main event, you know. I, I would say just Gage is like Alex. He hurts with a single shot more than Max Holloway. Max Holloway is like Jamal Hill, more technical. Yeah. yeah. Bro, this is <laughs> supposed to be a main event on some other cards, but yes, yes. About the fuck 300. So amazing. And uh, I would pick Gage. Oh. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. I want Max Holloway to win. Because he's just, he's so funny. He's a funny guy, nice guy. But Gagey, he's too beefy. He's, well, too, I he's actually, too big. I've been watching videos on Max Holloway, and I, at first I said Gagey 100. But, dude, Max is big, and I he's in know, shape. Man. And I think he's going to take every power <laughs> shot, come back, and I'm going with the flying Hawaiian Max Holloway, baby. No, dude, I don't know, yes. man. I'm telling you, I mean, Gagey's just it's so a great big. Fight either, you know? Uh, and he's coming, well, out, uh, he's coming out of kicking Holly Dustin Poirier's head off. Two years old, Gage 35, you know, it is something in similar to that main event fight. Uh, Alex is 36 and uh, yeah. Jamal is 32. So, yes, Max Holly has the, the young youth against uh, again, uh, with with him against just yeah, right? and I'm so, gonna have to pick the youth on this one. And here's the thing: he's not just young; he's a former champ, and he's still in his prime. Like he was okay, already I'll, I'll one this. of the most dominant champs ever. I'll say this: he's young, but he came into the UFC super early, so he's yeah. got a lot of oh, yeah. hits in. He's got a lot of so damage. So does Gaethje. I don't He's, know. He had so many wars in Holloway's, W World Holloway's Series the, of fighting. I think, I think Holloway's got the record for the most like strikes absorbed. Absorbed. Yeah. That 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 plays a toll on you. you and know, so you, does Gaethje though. Gaethje. That's what I'm saying. They're like away. mirrors of each other. Just one's younger, and I used to think one was bigger, but now looking at the videos, I don't think size is going to be a thing. Do you think they're both five eleven? Apollo, if you're fighting a guy that. Uh, he's been in a lot of fights and been punched a lot. Do you feel it's easier for you or it doesn't help you one way or the other? I mean, when had a lot of fights, like both of them, like um, Holloway and, and Gage, Holloway just had, uh, just have, uh, just, just has three, four, two fights more than uh, Gage. So I think you're supposed to hit on the head and the guy is supposed to feel more. Like to be more fragile, but yeah. on the, for the other side, he has more experience, you know. So, but uh, if I was Gage, I was rush him, not give space because you know a lot of experience, you know, and he move fast. He, he like to move. He like to you know is bringing you bringing for, for, for deep waters. Yeah. Uh, but Gage need to rush him and uh, try finish him as soon as possible with a single punch or combinations of punch and kicks. Uh, I like to fight guys with a lot, you know, miles, you know. Uh, yeah. Yes, but you need to be careful. Like, like, like uh, I mean, like my fight against uh, Whitaker. Whitaker has yeah. a lot of experience, you know, have uh, fight a lot, have been fight a lot. So, uh, that's my fault. I, I, I supposed to rush him a little bit more. I, I was letting and I, I get on his game plan and then he won, you know, just because I di didn't rush as as much as I, I could. So I think, uh, yeah, if Gage bring this fight to the close uh, in fight, should be better for him. But if not, Max gonna won. I think. Beautiful. Okay, we got one more fight to talk about with you, my friend. Uh, maybe two. Or uh, two more. Yeah, the Char okay. Charles, Charles Oliveira and Armin. I mean, Charles Oliveira is one of my absolute favorite fighters of all time. But oh, yeah. I mean, Armin's wrestling's kind of a lot to deal with, you know. You like you like Charles or no? I like, of course, yes. Uh, but uh, yes, I, I think he's amazing. He's amazing, you know. He he's doing uh, great great stuff, you know. But 
this guy is tough as, as well. Uh, you know, Armour Sarukian. Uh, I don't think... I, I, I think something that Charles has uh, that bring him, that brought to him a lot good uh, wins was the afraid of the other guys has to go in the ground with him. Yeah. So, no. Right? And when the guys... People are scared to, to shoot ground, him. He could submit the guys. Mm -hmm. But when he f he faced a guy who, with no fear to grant to, to grapple with him, he had some problems. Like this one uh, did. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know how good Sarukia is on the ground. I mean, he's uh, nasty, dude. He's against his high wrestling's level, like high Charles, level. You yeah. Know? Charles is on top top of level of jiu jitsu. He's the record. He has a record of, of uh, submits. Uh, but, yeah, if Sayuken can handle with Charles on the ground, I think it would be a tough opening for Charles. But the thing is, for me, I'm a casual fan. You can't beat uh, him saying the champ has a name. I mean, that's 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 too sexy, you know what so I mean? So Armin, I don't think he has any fear of going to the ground with Oliveira. His last win was Benelli Darush, a world champ jiu-jitsu guy. And he took him down, dominated him on the ground, first round, first round knocked him out. Remember when they came up and he threw that gnarly knee because he shot in on him and then uh, Donnelly, or Benelli got up. So that's why I think Armin's going to shoot in. And the only thing that Oliveira has is that range. He's a lot taller, so if he can kind of establish his range, then it'll be a good night for Oliveira. But... I think if Armin gets in, which I think is going to happen, I'm taking Armin. So who do you take, Paulo? Charles. Charles. Yo, is that I a also country? take Charles. Paulo, you know me and you? You're my older brother, better looking. <laughs> uh, we have all the same picks, my friend. I, I, I'm very happy. Okay, last <laughs> fight we'll talk about here is Bo, Bo Nickel and Cody Brundage. Just they're both middleweights. Bo Nichols, I mean, he's now a phenom. Everyone's talking about him. I'm a fan of his now. I mean, I was a fan of his from wrestling because I grew up wrestling. But, I mean, what's your thoughts on Bo Nickel? My thoughts about Bo Nickel? You know, I think this is phenomenal. Phenomenal wrestling, phenomenal grappler. But this is MMA, guys. You guys know. He only 5-0 right now, 20, 20 years old, bro. Uh, I think at some point we're going to realize he's so new on MMA. We need to give him some time, you know, to uh, be ready to, to fight, uh, you know, top five guys on the rank of the middleweight rank or top team. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but yeah, Corey it's, Brundage. Uh, who is Corey, the, who, sorry? Yes, Corey, uh, Corey Brundage. Yeah. He's opponent. I think yeah. going to be a... a a good uh, test for him, you know. He's not he's not beginner. Corey has uh, twenty nine years old, fifteen fights, ten wins, five losses. You know, he's come from two wins, and uh, yes, you're gonna after this fight. I think you're gonna figure out where right now for this year we can put uh, Bo Nico. You know, on top 15, top 10, or not? Not yet. But, yeah, you, you know, know we, just look uh, for numbers. I think he's so he's pretty new, pretty young. We had but, that fight with, uh, who, was the, who was the guy that got knocked out nasty? He had the seizures. Oh, Bryce Mitchell. Bryce Mitchell. Bryce Mitchell was almost the same as Bo Nickel, where he was this big new upcomer, and uh, then he got knocked out bad, bad by... Uh, Remember when Bryce, uh, Josh, Josh Emmett? Josh Emmett. At the UFC in... Uh, Vegas. Vegas, yeah. Remember when he seizured and stuff like that, and everyone was like, "Oh, we're building him up, building him up." And then he had to fight someone that was actually a you know, in a seasoned veteran, and it was so. It was what, right what you're saying is right, is that you know he needs some more tests. Okay, uh, we're gonna let you get going here in a second. If you, for me, I'm gonna put some money down on 300. I'm gonna pick one fighter. I'm gonna put 5,000. Paulo, who's my safest 5,000? You picked uh, Gaethje. Oliveira uh, and Pajera. Who's my safest 5,000, Paulo? Bo Nickel. Okay. If you lost, please don't come to charge I don't me. be mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I, I, I think, you know, bro, fights is 
it's crazy to, to bet because you know, <laughs> don't be one scared. Bad don't day, be scared. One it's not your money. Just go. Just Who's throw the it safest out there. money? Say again. Who I said, don't be scared. Who's the safest money? Pick some one person. Uh Bo, Bo Nico or, or Corey or all or, or, or this fight? Uh, out of all, the whole card. All the ones we talked about, pick one person. Out of the whole card. Oh my god. I would oh my god, that's yeah. Uh, <laughs> <He's fashion, dude. laughs> uh, I would say Aljamie Sterling. Hey, oh, okay, okay, good bet, Aljo. Okay, I'm going to put 5,000. We just had Aljo on the podcast here. I'm going to put 5,000 on Aljo. And if it doesn't work, it's your fault. <laughs> okay, my friend. Thank uh, you. We're so grateful. Uh, one last time, tell, tell, tell people. We know things are still happening, but tell people what's happening with Secret Juice, and then we'll, we'll be done for today. Guys, we are working very hard, very hard in Secret Juice. We're going to hear this first, the powder of Secret Juice. What I think is, is a good idea because you can bring the powder if you go to a gym. You know, if you go to the gym, you don't need to, to hold a whole can yet. But we still work on the can in the, the bottle to release to the markets. First, you're going to sell this for or internet, like Amazon, something like that. And uh, you can get on your house. But first of all, very first is the powder, secret juice powder. This is pretty uh, new. Uh, uh, hot news, you know, how you say, uh, breaking, breaking news. Yeah, breaking I like news. hot news, that's pretty sexy, <laughs> yes. And, uh, of course, I'm gonna send for you guys the powder, beautiful, oh, yeah, beautiful. love it. Thank and, you. And with that, we you mix it in water or you snort it? <laughs> you can, you can, you can as well if, if you are uh, tough enough. <laughs> okay, Look at the, my moon, friend. the moon's behind you, bro, the whole time. Look out your window, look out behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah behind you. Moon. The moon. <laughs> okay. The, oh, yeah. Beautiful, right? Oh, yeah. Is it's a street light. It's a light, oh, it's yeah, a light the inside. <laughs> okay, my friend. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. See I, you I'm later. Show, we'll show the moon. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. It was a pleasure, hey, okay? You. Let's have a, uh, fun watching this great car, you know? And I hope to see you guys on Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. All right. We'll see you there. Super grateful to Paulo. We are super glad to have him as our correspondent to come on the show. Every numbered card, he will be a part of the show now. And we get some insider info. Yeah, dude, there we go. Uh, breaking news to be had here. Yeah. Uh, dude, honestly, I just love his insights, too. He talks about he saw Jamal Hill at the PI a couple weeks. He's going to be yeah. able to give us information that... Well, you know what's interesting? Just... He, he kept on saying the Brazilian fans, and I was like, you know what? I actually never... I don't speak Portuguese, so I don't actually know what the Brazilian fan perspective is. You know yeah, what I mean? And if you take Chael's uh, assessment of them, they don't even have the internet. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. So how did he get it? Yeah. How did they just heard it from a friend yeah. and a friend? They're still doing newspapers. We'll ask him next time. <laughs> but, He's American uh, now. He's yeah, like, we're, yeah. We're he's... super grateful to have Paul. Uh, now we'll just keep we'll keep breaking down the rest of the fights. Yeah, and let's start right away with the Aljo. Let's go to the – because that's the bet. I mean, we ended that one. I mean, that's a – are you gonna put five G's on it, dude? I'll put, dude, because we just had Aljo on the podcast. Yeah, I like Aljo. You know, we went, awesome. I went out with him like that one night. Like, I mean, he wasn't. It wasn't like party or anything. Yeah, because yeah, he was in fight you know, camp. It was funny. Just a funny story out. about Aljo on the podcast. He was super down to earth. Uh, and for us, like I always say, like because we'll, we'll shoot a lot in Vegas, and we'll have yeah. guys come in, and uh, I'll be like, "Hey, you want something like a like, <laughs> water or a coke or something?" He's like, "Yeah, can I get some pasta, steak for my guys too?" <laughs> he like, had some boys coming, and then he showed up and he didn't eat. He ordered a thousand dollars worth of food, yeah. and then he doesn't. Eat, he's like, "Oh man, I he's just like, ate." That hungry. But that's why I love Chris Curtis. Then he's... Chris Curtis shows up early by himself, and just eating not so, yeah, just ate all the food. <laughs> Sit and eat with Aljo for a second. Yeah, 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 yeah we did actually. Bit. And you know what? After he kind of like chatted with us, he's like, he was way cool. He was down to hang out Dude, afterwards. Honestly, like I said, I'm not going to name the one fighter that pissed me off. But yeah. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we know. Every other fighter we've had on has been awesome. Hasn't, hasn't the most fighters just been the coolest to have on? Honestly, yeah. And like, uh, I didn't really know Aljo before this. Yeah. And so, like, to kind of sit with him and, and you know what I mean? I just had the persona on online and yeah. it's kind of funny because then you like see these personas and then you talk to them and i'm like it makes me want to like uh get what's his name uh oh crap the strickland no not strickland the other dude the, we watched him get his ass kicked by leon 
Colby? Oh, yeah, Colby. Colby. Wait, I want to get Colby on, dude. Uh, I don't think he'd drop the <clears throat> routine, though. You do, I wonder, though. Dude, That's why so I, I, just passed, I just passed Jorge uh, in the elevator. I was down in Vegas, and he was walking yeah. past me. Dude, honestly, what's been surprising to me about a lot of these fighters is these guys are big. Yeah. They're, they're like, you Jorge's hear, big. You hear about them being 145. Jorge was a big dude. I was walking past him. I was like, damn. Because he fights at 155, right? No, 70. Oh, 170. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that, that at least is bigger. But even Aljo, Aljo fights small. And Aljo, Aljo's big. He yeah, big. I, he was surprisingly big. And then he looked at me that I fought at 55. He's like, you're big. And we all are surprised how big each other are. Because yeah. you're like, oh, yeah. But and then, then we everyone put is. put our cocks away. Yeah, then, yeah. <laughs> well, we can't talk about that part. We P. Diddy that party yeah. up. <laughs> Dude, how about Chris Curtis coming out to P. Diddy last night? Oh, my God. Hilarious. Yeah, speaking of Chris Curtis, that was so funny. Did you hear why? No. Because he wanted to come out to some anime song. Anime song, and yeah. they said no. And he's like, well, they're going to say no to P. Diddy. And they said, all right. And he's like, all right. And then everyone's like hating on him. So he like wrote a story online about it. And his coach, Eric, is like, we should have came out to R. Kelly. <laughs> Dude, imagine like a remix R. Kelly P. Diddy. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah. how about that fight last night was insane with. Uh, with uh, with Chris. Brandon Allen and Chris Curtis. I thought Chris won, dude. You know what? I thought he won, too. Like, just because I I think when you look desperate for the takedown that and you kind of get one and they pop up, that should be zero points. You know what and I mean? Chris, uh, he looks so – un of the amount of times that B. Allen took his back, and Chris looks so unworried. He was just, he was just yeah. moving his hands. He was so And he unworried. did no damage, no threat, you know? It almost reminds me, like, so in boxing, you know, like when the, you're getting your ass kicked – you clinch up, yeah. and if you're just clinching up the whole fight, you lose in boxing because you're stalling the fight because you're losing the fight. Yeah. And I feel like that's the wrestling sometimes is offensively, but it's also sometimes defensively uh, countering. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you see guys that use a wrestling exciting, go forward, like <clears> – <throat> Maybe myself, <laughs> but and they get the takedowns and stuff like that, and their wrestling's like really exciting, and their grappling's exciting. But then you see these other guys that just shoot in. Like I thought Brandon Allen's wrestling was garbage the other night. Yeah, he couldn't hold Chris down. I, he escaped like his shoulders on the mat. Is that the technique? I saw him do that like three, yeah. four times. And then he was shooting from so far away. And just the, the amount of confidence that Chris got to keep standing up and say, "Get up." Yeah. And I thought he outboxed the and hell he, out of well, Two weeks notice for Chris. You know that, right? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. Off the couch. supposed to be who? Uh, forget. I, I don't know. Who was supposed to, I forget who. But anyways, out. let's get back to 300, though. Uh, before 300, one other thing was... Uh, oh, shit. Court I'm McGee? Thinking. Court McGee. Oh, Court. That's yeah, yeah. Let's Is talk Court. Return to Court. Yeah, you know, I talked to him and... He said, even so he lost, it was the best confidence building he's he felt had. good, huh? Well, he was like, I had that neck surgery, you know, and then he was like, talked about it in here. And as his friend, I was like, dude, you're crazy. What are you doing, bro? And then he said he went out, and he's like, I felt pretty good. He just signed a four-fight contract. Yeah. And so hopefully they keep him, and hopefully he can get a little spunk, because he was like, he said that performance was just more of like he was out there just seeing if he can do it. he can still do it. Yeah, and then he was like, look, I was in a close fight. Dude, do you, and do you see how tight that guillotine was? Yeah. I thought he was done, and he got Oh, out. no way, dude. Court's impossible to choke. <clears throat> I've only choked him one time in our whole lives together. And but you, it, why, why do you think so? Just big head or what? His neck is giant, <laughs> dude. Like, it's literally. And so he is weirdly strong, bro. Yeah. Like, he Who is, would you say is stronger, though, me or Court? Court, 100,000%. <laughs> dude, I've seen with my own eyes. I'm deadlift 600 pounds. <laughs> That's an unreal. So do you think he's going to continue fighting, or do you think he Yeah, he just... said he wants to do it. And so, I mean, the only thing is, is these lackluster performances is, like, another one. Even so, as, like, there's all the behind the scenes. No one knows about behind the scenes. All they care about is what happens in the actual performance. I thought he was, and this was just my casual fan assessment, and also I love Corp, um, even though he won't answer the phone when I call him sometimes. Yeah. He'll but, answer when I call him. <laughs> but uh, he looked like he was punching a little slow. It felt slow. Yeah. But even they were they were talking about him on the broadcast that speed has never been his thing. Is that accurate? Speed. Yeah. Really no, good? he's never been a fast puncher, and he's he's never been an exciting like wild fighter. He's always just been a pressure come forward. You know, and the thing is, it's I don't know. Like I felt like myself towards the end of my career, I got 
where they like call the ibs or whatever the you know yips. yips yeah the yips and i would like go out there and put on these great performances but i'm i was such a uh like i'm a crazy pussy. person oh, yeah sorry. you know yeah pussy. <laughs> while like Corey is like a very like systematic fighter and so he could keep on fighting you know what i mean because he has a system and he follows his system it's like, it's like lebron doing old man basketball now, now yeah. he's not doing the banger basketball he's doing all technique and far shot yeah while my style i'm like if, it has to be a banger yeah all i know is banging dude yeah. that's all and i i've tried to not and i can't and so yeah. i was like and that's why like in my older age i'm like i don't want to lose my step on the highest stage and get knocked fuck out, but someone like Court, who's a grappler, pressure, Randy Couture is another he great took, dude, and he took some good punches. Direct. Yeah, direct. The guy kept uh, he kept getting him with the, was it the right hook? That or... right, yeah. yeah, that right hand. He was coming over Court's. He kept he kept like like uh, being slow. Well, and, and you know what's so weird? His elbows were out, and I was like, if I was Court, I would have been attacking his body more. When someone's elbows are out, he should have been like push kicking and win the linear line. The problem was, was Court was trying to win the, win the linear line only with these punches, and the other guy was faster than him. So I was like, he needed to use his like range, which would be like linear kicks, like a push kick, and force that guy to bring his elbows in. And then you can win the center line, and then you can throw hooks, kind of like a systematic, but then wrestle. But the problem was, is he was just trying to like back up too much i think was his problem and court can't fight backwards he needs to go forward and get the finish court back on yeah back let's have on. him talk about it yeah all right let's jump in well let's get back to this aljo calvin C C cater fight uh before that oh we were five g's worth i think that's too close man don't you what what's oh it's minus 108 now you said minus 160. no it is 160. this is 108. It says 108 right there oh, on espn odds it's got 160. yeah this is the UFC odds. These ones are UFC odds are always behind. UFC says minus one hundred eight. Yeah, that's what it says on the UFC page. And right they wow. got they got Calvin Cater's minus one twelve. They got Calvin Cater as the uh, uh, favorite. That, well, that's a big or shift. So something must yeah. have happened. Big money. That's what I'm saying. That fight is too close for a fight. Put your five G's on Bo Nickel. Trust me. I'm gonna put my five G's on Holly Holm because Kayla Harrison doesn't even have a picture. Bro, do you know? <laughs> okay, let's go into that fight. Do you know who Kayla Harrison is? No, she sounds hot. Dude, she is a badass, couple-time world uh, gold medalist judo player. Okay, but and is, she, is she bad, yes or no? No. No. Uh, and here's the thing. We can't actually talk about that because that's disrespectful. Oh, sorry. Yeah. And there was actually a whole thing about it. Did you see that? Someone asked, like, one of her teammates, like, how many times at a UFC Armin, actually. It was Armin, and they're at some UFC thing. And this was the fucking UFC scum of people that watch this sometimes. <laughs> One of the guys asked Armin in Russian or whatever his language is, like, how many times would you bang or something? Oh, yeah. Holly or uh, Kayla Harrison. And she's a survivor. And so oh, she man. doesn't think that shit is funny. And she's written books about it. And she talks about it. So if she hears that, I hope she fucks you up. I mean, she could. The problem with She Hall could, bro. She actually is a beast. What else That's one of the few women I would actually be like, she might beat me in a fight. Well, a lot of women could beat you in a fight. Yeah. The problem with Holly is, and, and not just speaking about the fighting, just uh, in terms of looks, is that she's always been like... Good from far, far from good. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she's a yeah. big underdog. There, there's Kayla Harris. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, the, she's built the, the fucking murder. But I think she's gonna come in. I, I would put fucking five G's on her. You think Holly Holm's gonna stop her takedowns? Holly Holm is a big girl. You saw what she did to uh, Rhonda. Not Rhonda. That's so long ago. Yeah, Rhonda was eight years. ago. Andrea. She just fought, and she was so much bigger. It wasn't, Click on her profile. It wasn't Zhang Wei Li. She, Kayla, fought, she fought Zhang, though. Kayla is going to be bigger. Jeez, look at Holly. She's but that's so what I'm saying. Kayla, look, their height is 5'8". What's hers? 5'8". They're both 5'8". But I'm telling you, dude, Harrison, Kayla Harrison, I've seen her in person because we fought on the same cards in the PFL. She is a unit. So all she's done is judo. Like She didn't do anything else as a child, and all she would do is train. So what I want to talk about, I mean, she's jacked. Speaking about jacked and her teammate, I know we're diverting a little bit from 300, 
What do you think about John Jones telling her tester he's gonna kill her? <laughs> Did you hear though? He said it's bullshit. Yeah, it, it is bullshit. I don't uh, believe it. No, they left uh, the video and some they high five him. Yeah, but he said he got mad at her. So I can see him saying he could like people get Be like, killed. Oh, for I'm coming sorry. To but he yeah. said he never raised their voice. He didn't do anything like assault. Worthy, but did they take the sample? Because if he did, didn't get the sample, then that means that Tom Aspinall is now the champion. Well, I don't know. Did they get the sample? That's what we're waiting to hear. And here's the thing, though. I mean, do you believe those people? Yeah, 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 for yeah, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He said they woke him up during a nap on his birthday, so he was pissed While off. There was no. a party going well, on, so he was pissed. He was the fuck off. napping. He, yeah, right. He was fucking passed out and yeah. drunk. And, and then he, he, was, he, was, he was drunk with it. Yeah, and then and that's they made what I'm saying. He was blacked out drunk on his birthday. <laughs> but I mean, come on. You're going to come test a dude on his birthday? He's well, not doing steroids. <laughs> he's, he's doing, doing coke. coke. Yeah, <laughs> which is not against the rules. Coke is against the rules. Only on fight night. That's what got him busted twice. On fight night, he had coke in his system. No, he never had. He had picograms. Mm -hmm. He's never been busted. Well, picograms for... was the steroid. Yeah, but he's he never had, had coke, coke in his system. system. Oh, did he? The Daniel Cormier. He fight. admitted to it. He I don't think he got tested no, for it. No, he never got tested positive. Coke is in and out of your system in a couple days. And even if it came up on an out-of-competition test like weed, they can't uh, get you in trouble. Interesting. Yeah. So your, your guys' contention is that it didn't happen the way they said it? And, oh, no way it happened the way they – it for sure happened probably yeah. the way they said it. I mean, it. this man spent an entire day under a uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, under yeah, a yeah. No, I, no, I wish it wasn't true. <laughs> and he looks so fat right now. I wish John Jones was telling the truth in this. Did you watch – But he didn't get arrested. Those correspondents so. that have no fucking – uh, reason to lie and make up did a you, story did other you than watch you know. the uh, the Johnny Walker's brother fight yesterday. No, Johnny Walker's older or his brother, who's a heavyweight, fought. Oh, and, I and he lost. He's okay, saying, we're running out of time. Right. Sorry, I, I to get us out. Talk right, about then, Yuri. Okay, dude, Yuri. Oh, Al Alja, you you think is gonna win? Or no? uh, okay, so dude, I mean. I think Aljo is going to win, but Calvin's not an easy wrestle, you know, and he's got better boxing. Is this Aljo's second featherweight fight? Yeah, that's the thing, and he's smaller, and Calvin's a big featherweight. 5'11". Yeah. Dude, that means I that mean, Aljo's going to be the stronger one, dude. I'm, no, I, I mean, who knows, dude? He's Look, and that's the thing. Is Aljo's never been the smaller fighter. He's usually always the bigger fighter, you know? And then when he was the smaller fighter, i.e. Sugar Sean, he got knocked the fuck out. Yeah. So I was like, that's why I want to put 5Gs on him. I think. I, but I you think I'm not going to listen to our correspondent? I have to listen to our correspondent. How will you get him to pronounce it in <laughs> English the right way? <laughs> okay, go up. Next one. Yuri. Oh, dude, this is a freaking. You know what, though? Here's my, my biggest gripe with Yuri. Like, for some reason, when he does it, everyone thinks it's cool. But if you knew a dude like that, like, the shit he does to me the is... The samurai sword and stuff? Yeah, it's so... And he stands there with his... Blah! I'm like, he is to he me... He had the most epic stare down in UFC history with with Alex, though. Then Nobody he got knew. knocked the fuck out in 20 <laughs> seconds. So that wasn't I'm, 20 seconds. I don't know. I'm going with Alexander Ryak. I think he's just going to come in and... I think the Yuri's awkwardness uh, ship has sailed. I think Yuri comes back, gets a dub, for sure. I don't think he's even been training. He just does screaming at a camera. What it's pretty even money, but Alexander's a slight favorite. Yeah. Okay. All right. Alexander's next. kickboxing is going to light him up, and his kickboxing is too good. He's not going to get caught by an awkward punch. That's another big bet I would put on. All right, let's keep moving. Two inch reach. Bobby Green. Green. Bobby Green. Yeah, Bobby Have Green. Have you been uh, following Bobby on Instagram? A little bit. Uh, I think he's going through some hard times. He's, yeah. He's got some people around him that, that have been doing him dirty or something, it seems like. Yeah, he just, I don't know, like, specifics, but it sounds like. Sounds like he's going through some tough times. Yeah, tough times. I hope So I hope he wins. You know, and here's the thing. Heavy this, favorite. I think Bobby Green sleeps Jim Miller. I mean, that's, that's kind of. But here's the thing. Bobby Green's coming off a nasty knockout. So mm. it's kind of, I wouldn't. It's kind of a rough. Uh, I think they put Jim Miller on the card out of respect because he was in UFC 100, UFC 200, and now geez. UFC 300. But Jim Miller can come across and just grapple fuck Bobby Green and yeah. win the fight that way. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I think Bobby Green's going to sleep him. Okay, coach. Uh, he called out Drakus, but he only. Uh. 
Oh, we're good. Okay, then Cody Garbrandt, Davison. Ooh, who do you got? I, I want Davison to win just because Cody keeps ducking this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> We've had like three times from yeah. this game. I mean, I think Cody's going to be sent to the shadow realm, too. On that Davison's one. a mean guy. Yeah, dude. and he's just big, dude. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're not even look like the same weight, dude. Davison's big and mean. Well, Cody's taller. Is he? Yeah, but yeah. that to be honest, that's I've, true. Oh, he is tall. I've frequently won bets taking the shorter guy because they have to be the same weight, which means the shorter guy is going to be stronger. Yeah, but here's the thing, though. I think if Davison touches Cody once, he's going night night. But Cody, if he fights smart and boxes him out after round one, Diego's going to be fu- or uh, Davison's going to be exhausted and be throwing those big hooks. Cody's going to be dancing around. So if Cody can get his rhythm, he's going to win. But look at those odds, though. Yeah. Negative 300 Jeez. plus 240 is what the current ones are right now. And these ones have 340, 270. And I think that's good odds. I think that's a fair, you know what I mean? And then, honestly, keep going. Let's talk about some of these girl fights because they're kind of – I'm not usually much of a WMMA, but Jessica Andrea and Marina Rodriguez. Andraj. Andraj, whatever. It's going to be a war, dude. It's actually probably going to be one of the most exciting fights on the card because they're just going to throw bombs. I'll have to hear about it because it's on undercard. Yeah, and then Jalen Turner and Hento, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Hanato. Hanato, but Hanato just came on the scene. He's nasty. Jalen Turner. He's the one that knocked out Bobby, right? Yeah, he knocked out Bobby, and he's like, and he beat our boy uh, Medic, Uros. Med- uh, Madik. Th- doesn't Jalen remind you of Jar Jar Binks? Dude, he looks from, and when he fights from uh, from Star Wars, he reminds but me of Jar Jar Binks all the time. He's coming off of that war, and I think uh, Hinato is coming off of some fast wins. So I, I think he's gonna knock out Jalen. To be honest, dude, I think because he just throws heavy hands and and then <clears throat> there's one more, the co-main event. Zhang Zhang Wei Li. Li. One of my favorite actual fighters is Zhang Wei Li or whatever to pronounce her name. She's so, she fought Holly and she's just so big and strong. She's (laughs) She's so big and strong. And this is the first ever uh, two Chinese fighters against each other. Yeah. And I think she's going to beat Yang's ass. Like, I mean, I've seen her fight kind of once and. She's a little bit slower, but do you think Wei Li is just nasty? One of, their, one of Zhang Wei Li's and Yan Zhonan's uh, biggest advantage is that the other fighter can't understand their corner. This time, they're going to yeah, be able to understand yeah. their corner, so they're losing a major advantage. Wait, let's go back to this main event, though, a little bit. So, I mean, he was kind of a little bit wishy washy on his pick. Who are you going to put your money on? Oh, easily. I will never listen. It's the same, I'll tell you right now, as Volkanovsky. I'm happy to lose money betting on Alex. Okay, Alex right. is my guy. He's just the he's just him. Let's do it. I bro. think you got to put your money on him then. Yeah, I'm telling. I might just put an additional five G's on Alex because he deserves it. You know, what <laughs> yeah. I mean? he shook my hand one time. Yeah, yeah, he was really. He's a great <laughs> dude. I Super mean, nice. Yeah. Hey, here's the thing. It, we're gonna see. Are we gonna see a new Alex? Because you see, he's got his new girlfriend, and now he has pictures smiling. Have you yeah. seen that? He's been. Did you see that thing he did with Glover, where <laughs> Glover's wife like walked over and like, "Hey, let me see your phone," and he pretended like he smashed Glover's phone for him. Yeah, they were, they were doing a skit. Yeah, but, yeah. But he's doing fun things now. It's but so equal. Yeah, everything's equal. Like they're built. That's what I'm saying. They're built exactly the same. Just one <laughs> younger. Dude, I honestly think that Alex, he's just too mean. Jamal, he's coming up and that. It but was Jamal a- don't. And here's the thing, Jamal's got flows. Have you heard him rap? But the thing is, what I'm he's, saying is that Jamal won a very controversial decision against his brother at Thanksgiving. <laughs> it was up in the air on if he actually won. But that I fight. mean, he beat the shit out of Glover. He beat the shit out of like uh, Santos. Walker, crew, Paul Craig, he lost. He got submitted as one loss. But he's not going to get submitted by but, you know, Alex. You know, Paul made a good point that he was even worried about coming back in May, and now he came back for April. Yeah, you know, but here's the thing. Guess who's no longer around? Who? 
USADA. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we man. coming back right away. I'm you're, going back in two weeks. We're just about to take another fight. Yeah, yeah, I'll be fucking <laughs> ah, like you never juice. Yeah, secret juice. Yeah, you know cool. what I mean? So I think that's a big thing because now he's probably could be doing like what? Who knows? But I'm not accusing him of anything. I'm just saying, even before USADA wouldn't allow you to take like a prescribed. For your surgery, you know what I yeah. mean. Like if you have like some steroids that you're supposed to be taking, like well, it's on the list. You know what I mean? Or like I didn't realize Jamal was so tall. He's six four. Bro, he's huge, fast. He's got, and I watched him flow rap while rolling and smoking a blunt. And now he's my favorite fighter. <laughs> <laughs> like his I flow is. You cannot love Alex, dude. I'm telling I, you. No, I love Alex, bro. I mean, I've been had dinner with him. He just doesn't speak any English, so our conversations yeah. are very, very rudimentary. Rudimentary, hand signs. a lot of hand signs. <laughs> <laughs> and then, that was back before he started smiling, so maybe he's different now. He didn't like him. He yeah, he didn't like. Him. He was he scared like of him. him. Yeah, cool. He's kind of scared. It's gonna be a huge card. Uh, we're incredibly excited for the stuff we got coming, guys. Um, your big take then go down your list. Then you're taking Jamal, Jamal, Zhang Weili, Holloway, Armin. Bo Nickel, I think, is the guarantee. Put five Gs on Bo Nickel. And make $12. Yeah. yeah. Alexander. Oh, I don't know about the Aljo Calvin. I'm going to have to go with Calvin. I hate to say it. Jeez. Just because he's so big and he can wrestle and box. Kayla Harrison, for sure. Oh, we didn't talk about this fight. This is going to be a banger, dude. Yusuf versus Lopez. Remember, we were supposed to have Lopez on our podcast, but he doesn't speak any English, so we really can't. But I love his swagger, dude. I think he's the coolest fighter out there right now. And then uh, Sadiq Yusuf is so explosive. Like, that's going to be, I don't know. They should be, like, a top contender, top ten fight, I think, if whoever wins that. And Diego Lopez is, like, Famous in Mexico, people love yeah, him. He's a he's star. A lot of attention from the girls. Yeah, yeah, he's a star, bro. Just every single fight on this card is fucking good. And here's the thing: everyone out there, when it was like UFC 300, they're all like, "I want Santa Claus to come back and fight Hitler." Yeah. You know, like they're just like <laughs> these impossible ones. And you're like, you know what I mean? Like people were like. Well, unless it's not uh, <laughs> Nate Diaz and, you know, Connor. And then they're like, when it wasn't Connor, everyone was upset. Yeah. You know, I was like, I'm like, legally, it couldn't even be Connor. But, like, they made one of the fucking sickest cards ever. But everyone just wanted it to be, like, they just want to be impressed. Insane. You know, well, we good. all want it. Big shout out to, uh, to Dana and to Hunter. Hunter's still the matchmaker, right? Yeah, Dana, Hunter, and uh, Sean Shelby. Big shout out. Honestly, they're the best at the game. Everyone, oh, the lawsuit's just going to ruin every single other organization because business as usual. But for me as a fight fan, and it wasn't good to be a fighter for them, but it's a great to be a yeah. fight fan. <laughs> cool. Well, guys, make sure to tune in for UFC 300 and continue to watch and subscribe to the Coach and the Casual. We got a lot more very fun interviews coming your way. Thanks for tuning into the Coach and the Casual. Make sure to subscribe on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify, and share it with your friends. Thanks again.